Salutations everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today's video is over this very soft glam but with a very, I mean still soft winged cut crease sparkle liner. Um, I don't know what I was going for. I just rolled with it. I wanted to do something a little bit more soft. Um, but it's still very, very pretty and definitely, um, glam and gorgeous and yes, please. Sorry, I can't stop staring at myself. You know what's a good eye look when you can't stop staring at yourself. <sighs> so, if you guys want to see how I achieved this beautiful, soft eye look, please keep on watching. Alright everybody, so I've already primed my eyes with my Sephora collection. I shot a stick in Seca Boudoir, then I went in with my Stila Eyes Are the Window Soul Palette and went in with this first creamy white shade just to set the primer. Then I went in with this kind of dusty rose chestnut color into my crease. Now before I explain a little bit more, when it comes to transitional shades or basically any eyeshadow, it is key to tap off the brush to get rid of some of that excess product. Sometimes you never know how much is actually on the brush and it's always best to start out with as little as you possibly can just in case if you needed to add more or blend it out, you know, just so you're not frustrated in the long run. Just always make sure to tap off the brush just in case. Then, as you can see, I went in with that pencil brush to kind of elongate my outer corner to make a semi cat eye. Then with that one kind of semi shimmery burgundy shade, I went into my crease just to deepen it up even more and blend as I'm applying the product. Then I went in with this kind of burgundy deeper brown color and with a more precise brush just to cut that crease, baby boo, just to cut that crease and just add a little bit more of a definition in there just so we're getting that nice depth in the outer corner. Then I went in with that Burgundy color that I used before mixed with this kind of chocolatey brown into the crease with a pencil brush Blending it out in the process and really kind of deepen it up then those two shimmery shades I'm going in with the kind of more champagne shade first just to recut that crease and just Give it a nice shimmer throughout and then with that little bit more of a deeper shimmer shade I focused it mainly in the outer corner or near the tail end of the cat eye shape just to give a little bit more depth in the outer corner, but it's also going to really help make that gold glitter that I'm going to use really, really pop. Then I went in with that same kind of dusty rose color, and I'm smoking out my lower lash line, then as well as that burgundy and brown shade, just to smoke it out even more. And then now I'm going to be applying my Too Faced Glitter Glue in only the outer corner, kind of recutting that outer corner as well. And then for the glitter, I'm using Star Crushed Minerals Golden Ticket, I'm just packing that on, kind of making sure it fades inwards just so it's more focused in the outer corner. And then I went in with my Kevin D Tattoo Liner just to tight line my upper lash line so whenever I go with lash it's going to be a little bit more easily hidden and I'm just kind of stamping it on. And then the lashes are, what are those lashes? What lashes did I use? Oh wait, just kidding. I'm still tight lining my lash line. What am I talking about? Uh, makeup. What? I'm... <laughs> it's late. It's late at night. And then I just kind of brought the liner inwards to my inner corner. Applied mascara and the lashes are Allure May Beauty in Stay Foxy. And this is the finished look, you guys. Alright, everybody, that was the tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more material coming from me, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. I really, really appreciate you guys. I'll see you in my next video, which I don't know how it's going to me. Cool.